Hey there, Starpoint. Mr. Seward here, and today we're going to look at how to make an assembly with Onshape. And the very first thing is actually getting the assembly started. So you should have a document shared with you. Uh, it's called the Wheel Assembly, starting an assembly, and you will need to open that. Now, when you open it up, you might come up with this uh, pin on your screen or you might come up with this uh, bracket or this part studio right here whichever one you come up with is just what you got okay that's all right now the very first thing is I need to go to the assembly tab so we've got all three parts that are going to go into making up this assembly here uh, and I'm going to click on assembly and this is blank right now You'll notice a couple things have changed. First of all, this toolbar across the top has changed uh, from features and it has changed to the assembly toolbar. The second thing is over here where we have the parts list generally and features list, that's been changed to uh, say instances and you can see that right there. Over here on the right hand side, our tools for uh, creating BOMs, bills of materials. We also have uh, a button for doing some configuration stuff. And then last is exploded views. Now we'll get to these things in a later uh, lesson. So to begin an assembly, we first need to insert a component. And the component that we're going to use here is this bracket. Okay, that's the very first component that we're going to insert. So I'm going to go back to my assembly. Now to do that, I'm going to go up to the uh, insert tool and I'm going to choose that. And we have three tabs here, the current document, which is exactly where we want to be, but I'll show you these other ones. This one says other documents. So if you have components that might be in other uh, documents that we have you have drawn before you can click on my on shape and uh, or any of these uh, three or four things and go find them and you can also do what's called standard components and standard components are things like screws and nuts and bolts we'll talk about these in uh, a future lesson also but I'm going to go back to current document first so we're going to use the current document of the bracket we use what we want to put in uh, as the base for the other two parts that are going to go into this assembly so i'm going to click this down arrow next to uh, the part studio for bracket and that is the only part that is in here uh, so that's a good thing and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the word bracket now this pops into uh, my graphics area you can see it, it's this yellow thing right now and if I brought this cursor out here I could move it around and uh, change its location um, I don't want to do that though because you see the little little dot that's just to the left of the part right now that's the origin of my assembly drawing and I want the origin of my assembly drawing aligned with the origin of my part drawing so instead of moving it around I'm just going to go up here to the green check mark and click on it and that puts this in place now can I move this around yes I can and by the way I can undo this and get it back to the right spot what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to use the word fix to put this in place so you want to fix your first part of an assembly in place because that's the base and that's what everything else is going to get built around and you can see that it has this little emblem right here that's the part is fixed uh, icon and that's exactly what we want so anyways starting an assembly Next up is going to be inserting additional components.